let's start uh, one new concept and this is called <clears throat> when we get minus 8 11 error in cobol db2 programming okay in this example if you see i have taken a table emp tab i have taken a variable ws class picture close x of 4 inside procedure division it's a very simple program only what i'm doing is i'm selecting class 1 into ws class from this tab where name is kurshid okay where name is kurshid i am selecting the name into this ws class so in name we have kurshid at two places okay now if i execute this program let's see what happens and after uh, ex uh, after running this select query <clears throat> in evaluate sql code i have checked when zero display the class when 100 display no row present when other display mm -hmm. error in sql code so let me execute this program first Okay, this is the program name. These, are, these libraries are all okay. Now, if I submit it, XCC4 pre compilation is done. Let me do bind now. So uh, the program is already present there. So I can submit it directly. So bind is also done, I guess. Yeah, it's done. Then let me execute it. So load leave is this one. So if I execute this program, Max is zero is coming. If we go to spool, we go to sysout, we'll see that it has failed actually. Error in SQL zero 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 eight one J. Now why is the max is zero but it is still giving error? That is because it is going to when other part, okay? It is neither going to when zero nor going to when hundred. It is going to when other and it is displaying this error in SQL and giving the SQL code also for which it is failing. But our JCL is running, right? JCL is able to execute this program. In real time, yeah. what happens is every time in when other, whenever any program goes to when other, we abend the program there. There will be some abend modules generated, created in the uh, a project or application and those are generic gen uh, abend modules whenever we have to fail any program we just call that abend module here we don't have so i have simply displayed it but actually this has failed it has not run this select query successfully now the meaning of this error is minus 811 minus 811 it has it is uh, it has come in this edited picture clause form so the meaning of this is minus 811. Now minus 811 means there's something wrong with the select query that I have written. Select class 1 into WS class from this table where name is Kurshed. So if you go and check in the table, if you run this query, where name is Kurshed. There are two rows present yeah with this name so technically what is happening is i'm trying to fetch two rows with this where condition and both the two rows i'm trying to write into one variable at one time okay the select query that i have written is fetching two rows and both the rows both the values are trying to get inserted in this variable at one shot which is not possible in this variable only one value will go at a time so this select query will not work in program 
it will work in spoofy you can run and check but in program this kind of select queries will not work when more than one row is getting fetched hmm. it will not work so this is when the program will give you minus 811 error okay okay now to <clears throat> get rid of this to uh, for example in our program i want this kind of rows i have a select query the select query might fetch many rows and all these rows i need to display one by one then how can i do that with select query it is not going to happen so then a concept comes that is called cursor this cursor concept will come that time with the help of this cursor we can fetch this kind of data one by one and we can display it or we can do whatever we want but with select query this kind of functions okay. will not be called so <clears throat> in real time if you have to use select query still then in where condition you have to always mention the primary key because primary key will always be unique and it will always fetch unique row so it is very important when we write any program in development region and do test because in development table sometimes we don't have uh, data which is same as the production region okay these are all test data we modify as per our wish so if you have written any code like this and imagine in the table in dev region we don't have any duplicate row for this name there is only one row so our program will run test will go fine and will think that okay my program is fine it is working but actually it is wrong when it goes to production it will fail so it is very important when we write any select query in the program to check whether the where condition column that i have mentioned is the primary key or not it has to be the primary key then only we are sure that it is going to fetch only one row but if our intention is to fetch all the rows of the table or particular rows 10 rows 15 rows or whatever it is based on where condition we need to always use cursor concept the same thing can be handled through cursor i will show you how okay this is the program now in cursor the coding is little longer okay there are some uh, life cycles of cursor we need, we need to take care of So, I have taken a variable first of all, same variable as I took last time. Include SQL C is there, include table name is there. So, till here it is fine, correct? Now, below this, you see I have declared the cursor this way. Exact SQL, declare cursor name. This is the name of the cursor. Any name you can give, it is user defined. But I have given cur underscore SEL because it's a select query cursor. So to make it easier, I have written this way, but you can give any name, but the name has should have some relevance. Okay, just don't give your name or anything. So declare cursor name cursor for the select query that I wrote. The last example, I wrote this select query in the program, right? Select class one from table name where name is Kurchit. For this select query, this time I'm declaring a cursor. So the meaning of the cursor is this. Declare cursor name cursor for this select query. So this cursor has been defined. Now the cursor has a life cycle. First, we will declare the cursor. So here we have declared it. So declaration can be done either in working storage section or in the procedure division also it can be done. In both the places it can be done. Declare cursor. So I have done in working storage section. Now, once I have declared it, I have to open the cursor also. That opening has to be done in procedure division. So inside procedure division, I have written open cursor name. So exact SQL open cursor name. That's it. This much you have to write. You don't have to write anything else. Exact SQL open cursor name and exact. Now after this also, you can check. We have to actually check the SQL code here also. Evaluate SQL code when zero, when, when other because the opening sometimes it may fail in the opening cursor also so it's good to write there to find out if it has failed there so open it after opening we have we need to fetch the cursor so first is declare then open then i am initializing ws class 
<clears throat> now I have to fetch the cursor, okay? Fetch the cursor as in I have declared a cursor based on this where condition name equal to crochet. So there are two rows in the table. So I have to fetch one row at a time from the table. And that fetch yeah. one row at a time fetch will not occur automatically. For that I need to run this fetch query inside a loop. Similar to that file reading. So oh. I've written perform until SQL code is hundred. Keep on performing this loop until SQL code is 100 means. So SQL code 100, when it comes, it comes when there is no more row in the table. So until and unless there are rows in the table, keep on running this query. As soon as there is no row in the table, close this loop. The meaning of this is uh, this one. So perform until SQL code is 100. Exec SQL fetch cursor name into WS class. Hmm? So when we declare a cursor and open a cursor, after that the count uh, the data from this main table. This is the main table data, right? The yeah. data from the main table. So we are selecting only name. These two rows will be fetched from the main table and will be put into a resultant table. There will be a virtual result resultant table created. Data from main table will be taken and it will be put to in the resultant table and the cursor will be pointing towards the first row. Okay, sorry, we are selecting class. So these two rows will be, uh, these two rows, only A2 and A6, these two values will be taken from the main table and will be put in a resultant table and the cursor will be pointing towards the first row in the resultant table, that is A2. So when I write fetch cursor name into WS class, so it will fetch A2 into WS class. It will put into WS class. Then I'm checking evaluate SQL code when zero display class WS class. When hundred display end of table. When other display error record. Then SQL code. And evaluate. So first time it will fetch A2 into WS class. It will go to when zero. It will display A2. <coughs> then I'm Again, initializing WS class because I need to fetch more rows. Then it will go to end evaluate. It will again check the perform condition. SQL code is zero because it has successfully fetched one row. This fetch query will run again. This time it will go to second row A6. It will point towards A6. It will fetch this row and it will put in WS class again. It will go to uh, evaluate SQL code when zero. It will display A6. It will initialize it when 100. It will not go to when 100. It will not go to when other. It will go to end evaluate. It will again check the perform until condition. This time again it checks that SQL code is still zero because A6 was successfully fetched. SQL code is still zero. It will try to fetch the cursor one more time. When it tries to fetch, it will say that see that there is no more row present in the table. So in evaluate SQL code, this time it will go to 100 because there is no more row in the table. Go to 100, it will display end of the table. So after A6, end of the table display will also come. Then it will go to end evaluate. Then it will again check the perform condition. This time it will see that SQL code is 100 because last time it was 100. So when it finds SQL code 100, this loop is satisfied. It will come out of the loop. After coming out of the loop, finally we have to close the cursor this way. Exec SQL, close cursor name, end exec. So these are the four things. One is declare cursor, one is open, one is fetch, one is close. These so are the perform, four. Perform until SQL code equal to 100. So that will perform hmm? what? Is there any paragraph name or no no it's a inline it's an inline perform. Perform okay. and perform. Within perform and perform I have perform written okay. this written this code. It is not a paragraph. Okay. okay. So it's very simple only. So SQL C A table name you have to include anyway in every program. I mean, SQL say in every program and the table that you want to use has to be used like this. And declare cursor you can use either in working storage section or procedure division also. It's your wish. 
declare cursor so whatever select query you wrote the last time when failed with minus 811 just write the query on top of it you can write declare cursor name cursor for so you are declaring a cursor for this select query then go to procedure division open the cursor then write perform until sql code equal to 100 fetch cursor name into this one evaluate sql code when zero then display 100 display when other so first time it will fetch a2 from the resultant table it will come here display class a2 second time a6 class a6 third time again it will go to uh, this time it will not go to when zero it will go to when hundred it will display end of table fourth time when it checks it will find that sql code is hundred it will come out of the loop finally it will close the cursor so let us check how it works <coughs> see first time a2 was fetched successfully second time a6 and third time when it again tried to fetch something it f did not find anything it went to 100 and it displayed end of the table so this is how it will work okay got it okay this is a simple cursor program mm -hmm. so whenever the select query fails with minus 811 we have to write it now this is a huge coding issue if any program is failing in production with minus 811 it's a big big issue because uh if any day any program has failed and you see that the reason is minus 811 there is no shortcut to fix that it is not a time there is no temporary fix only it's pure coding issue okay then because uh, because of coding issue because we did not code anything yeah we uh, so, did not code it properly it did not test it properly okay so we did not find the issue in dev region and uh, because of which it has failed in production region now there is no temporary fix because it's purely a coding issue and we have to uh, rewrite the code and we have to do the testing and all so it will be a, a huge escalation because if any job fails that will be in fail status only and uh, other jobs will be in wait schedule you need to and to deliver anything in production you need approval right change request you need approval is required you cannot simply deliver anything to production as per your wish you need to take the production uh, take the program from the production region you need to change uh, the code you need to test it few rounds of testing uh, have to be done then you need to raise change request you need to deliver the production on urgent basis this will be a big escalation so while writing the code it is very very necessary to do multiple rounds of testing that is why <clears throat> it is uh, this unit testing is not trusted 100 percent where that the testing the developer himself is doing because he might not be checking everything he's writing the program and he's just uh, running one case to check whether the program is running fine or not he will not check each and every case that is why in projects we have separate testing team who will check each and every case scenario okay there will be then uat testing in uat we most pro most likely have the same data as production region so if this issue occurs in dev even though it is it was not found in dev and test testing region it will be found in uat because the in uat we have similar data as production and when it tries to fetch a row which is retrieving more than one row it will fail in uat and will mm -hmm. find that error there but <coughs> if uh, UT testing is bypassed and it is directly delivered to production. If it fails, it will be a big, big issue. So whenever we write any query in our Cobalt UT programming, we have to be very careful what we are writing and what will be the implication of it if it does not work properly. So this is one example. This is called cursor. This was this is very important. 